Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. So Ethereum is uh, pushing higher, price reacted to the support zone that I communicated to you yesterday. The price touched the 38.2 retracement um, in the afternoon yesterday, late yesterday, a couple of times, and is now starting to take off. Now the main question is, is this already, um, is this already the next move up eh? or are we just in a wider way for correction as this yellow microstructure is showing for traders it doesn't make a difference because if this is just corrective i mean we've now moved away we've reacted to support so anybody who's entered a position of support area you know in profit all you need to do is manage risk if it goes up directly great all i want to say from a structural point of view from an analysis point of view if we are going higher more directly this is likely an extension in wave three which doesn't matter, it's actually great because then there would be another 4-5 pattern probably to come. I don't need to adjust support at this stage because we haven't really formed a new high yet. This could still be an internal B wave and there's just some potential to touch the support area once more. That would give us a more healthy wave 4 because it needs to be aligned somehow with that wave 2. I mean, it would be ideal. I mean, can I rule out the wave 4 is already in? No. But I communicated earlier today on Discord that if we extend higher now, I would actually see it probably as an extension of the internal third wave, right? So quick explanation, quick reminder here. Wave one, wave two, wave three could still be unfolding then. Then we get four and five. I mentioned that in yesterday's video as well, but highlighted to you, it doesn't matter <clears throat> which one it is because the microstructure is a bit unclear. So you don't know if the third wave is already in or do we get another extension in wave three? In both cases though, the support is located between 3,222 and 3,270. So we are pretty much just in a sideways range. And as long as we're holding above it, there is no signal that we've topped there. And because the fifth wave up in this larger, one second, the fifth wave up in this larger third wave um, was still unfolding, we would like to see still further upside and possibly for the price to reach 3,692 next. This is an ideal target. Yeah, 3,511 is next resistance, but I'd really like to see it get to 3,690 um, in this fifth wave of a fifth wave of wave C of the third wave in this diagonal pattern that started to develop in August. Yeah here when the price bottomed at around $2,070. So we have our wave one, we have our wave two. The idea is we are still in the third wave, which is uh, an A, B, C structure. And we could be in the late stages of the of the C wave of wave three, but there's still some more upside to, to be expected. And um, without a break below 3,222, there's absolutely no signal that the top is in place. All I wanna highlight is there is a potential for a wider ABC structure. So all that means is if the price touches support again, it could be another opportunity. But for now, I'm very open to the idea that we could be in an extension of wave three. And if we hit the higher FIP levels more directly, then I will adjust support for a still unfolding wave four. And then we would still get another wave five. So Ethereum a bit weak, bit a bit disappointing still, but it is still a coin where I'm expecting actually all time highs. Yeah, and it's still a coin that hasn't moved that much yet and still has the potential to outperform Bitcoin. It simply hasn't started yet, but it's something that I think could still happen, right? The ETH BTC chart shows that actually we are deep in support. So don't be surprised if it suddenly happens. Um, see, we are deep in support. We've now arrived at and nearly arrived at the 61.8 retracement. Let me see if I need to adjust it. No, it's fine. So at 0.03, I mean, it's possible that it finds support here, but there's no clear reversal yet. But all I'm saying, I mean, either we get a larger BC, but even that B wave could be substantial, or we're already in the larger C wave to the upside, which can take us to new highs here on the ETHBTC chart. So I'm watching for a reversal. I can't call a reversal yet because we are still extending lower to the downside, but the wave pattern, I mean, it's overall, you could say technically full. It's just that it keeps extending to the downside. It just keeps extending. Um, actually, based on this structure, it looks more as if this was the four. So one, two, three, four, and we're in an extended fifth wave. 
So that means a reversal is imminent, but it just hasn't happened yet, okay? And the trend is still down. So I just need to be watching this. Yeah, I think, you know, first indication we are really reversing, and this is a four day chart, but on the smaller time frame, I want to see a micro five wave move up. We There's much more work to be done. Okay, so, but yeah, I'll keep you updated about that. So I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. For the channel membership on our channel page, you find a two minute video that explains everything. If you want to join our live streams or enjoy some member only videos or get access to the trading view live charts or get some additional short term updates, you know, check out which which um, tier is for you. Today, there'll be also another member only video on YouTube um, and there will be a specific video only published on X. If you're interested in eGold, you know, you voted for it on eGold, uh, about eGold, you vote. That is clearly the winner, even though the vote is still uh, running for a coin, an analysis that will be specifically updated on X. So check it out. Yeah, hope you like the update. Have a great weekend. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.